This is your boy DTV is back with y'all another video. Wow. Wow. So uh, <laughs> congratulations, uh Cleveland Browns. You just got Deshaun Watson. You gave up what three first round picks, a second round pick, and a fifth, I think a fifth round pick, but they gave up no players. Wow. Uh, I don't even I can't even remember your GM's name, but kudos to him. That was amazing to be able to give up. Yes, you gave up three first round picks, a second and a fifth round pick, but you gave up no players. Meaning you're keeping Chubb, you're keeping Kareem Hunt, you're keeping your secondary, you're keeping uh, your linebacker, especially the one guy that was a rookie last year from Notre Dame. You're keeping him, like, you're keeping all of your players. This is wow. I mean, and let me start off. I just thought that Deshaun Watson was going to go to the Falcons. It just looked that way. <clears throat> <clears throat> it just looked that way, and, and I was, had my mind prepared for that. But then for the news to come in and him to be, you know, uh, going back to the Browns is just amazing. That is awesome GM work that is staying in the fight, that is not giving up to the bitter end. And so kudos to uh, the Browns GM. I am a Ravens fan. You all know I'm not a Browns fan, but, hey, I give credit where credit is due. They just got Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is an elite quarterback. He's top three quarterbacks in the NFL, top three, top five, however you want to say it. Granted, uh, the 22 allegations, um, I don't, I'm not sure, sure if they're still going on, but I think last time I checked, either they was, um, they was handled or they won't, but I, I knew he wasn't going to be able to play until it got situated. So I need to check back into that, but yes, the 22 allegations, you know I mean, that he went through. My fact, I think he was, uh, I can't remember, so I'm not going to speak on it, but, um, I have to go back and look on that. Um, but like the Browns just, they just got an elite quarterback. He's, he's definitely 10 times better than Baker Mayfield. You know, if you don't like this, if you're a Brown fan and you don't like this Sean Watson tonight, I get that, but he's 10 times better than Baker Mayfield. Um, they got their franchise quarterback and I, and it was trying to get him when he got drafted, but I think they, uh, the Texans jumped over them. So it's like, it comes full circle as wild about that. Um, I know a lot of Brown fans are excited right now. I know a lot of Brown fans are upset. Um, I, that's a problem that they have to deal with on their end when it comes to the situation because I'm pretty sure um, he's going to probably be suspended probably four to six games of the upcoming season also. Um, but, oh, yeah, if you're a Brown fan, if you know anything about the 22 allegation or whether it's still pending or whether it got handled or not, or, um, uh, please put it down in the comments because I'm not mistaken. He was, uh, found, he was found not guilty on charges. I'm not sure. That's what I think I've heard. But if you are for sure and you do know, um, put it in the comments that whether, because I think Adam Sheffner had broke the news that he was cleared. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to misspeak because I'm not sure. But if you do know, please put it in the comments uh, about that, about those 22 cases. Um, but yeah, that's the Browns problem when it comes to those allegations and, you know, his suspension that's pretty sure is going to come up and, you know, how are you going to have Brown fans not liking him and you're going to have Brown fans loving him because of his play. So, I mean, it's going to be the same situation with the Ben Roethlisberger situation to where, you know, the rape charges and the allegations and all that type stuff. And you have some players hate, some fans didn't like him, some fans did like him. That's a Browns problem again. But I guess the Browns uh, GM was like, hey, I'm going for my guy. I'm going for my guy, and he stayed in the fight. You got to, I commend him for that. He stayed in the fight. He was told no at first, and he didn't want to take no for an answer. Now, um, that was no pun intended with that. Um, he didn't want to take no for an answer, and he just kept fighting for it. He kept fighting for it, and he got his guy. Um, woo, the AFC is going to be crazy. The AFC is going to be crazy, man. Deshaun Watson. Um, who else in the air? Uh, uh, um, Sean Watson. I can't even, my mind is so blown right I can't even think of Josh Allen, of course, Lamar Jackson, um, Russell Wilson, all these guys are in, in the NFC is, uh, is crazy. Um, Derek Carr, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, this it's going to get wild. The NFC is going to be wild. It's the, it's the, that is the deepest division, Eric. Everybody knows that. But kudos to, uh, the Browns. You have a, <laughs> you got a legit quarterback, a legit superstar. No if ands and buts about it. When he steps on the field, you know if the plays is called, he's gonna run the right play. If the play looks bad, he's gonna get you out of that play. He's head smart. 
He knows how to run his offense. He knows how to dissect defense. If you leave somebody open, he's going to hit the target. If you don't leave nobody open, he's going to throw somebody open. He can also take off with his legs and get extra plays. You all still have your awesome old line still put together. Plus, you have Nick Tubb. Plus, you have Kareem Hunt. Plus, you, you uh, the, I don't know if Jarvis Landry is going to come back, but if he does... You, have a, you will have Jarvin Landry. If he doesn't, then it is what it is. I'm pretty sure you're going to have wide receivers wanting to come to play with um, Deshaun Watson. You still got um, um, Njoku at tight end. Um, like I said, you still have your awesome O-line. You, <laughs> y'all got some set up in position. I was looking like, who are they giving up in players? Forget those picks. I want to see who they give up. Please tell me they depleted their uh, offense. Please tell me they depleted their defense to get Deshaun Watson. They did none of it. They only gave up picks alone. I'm like, are you kidding me? My goodness. Great move. And I don't like the Browns. I don't like the Browns. Of course I don't because I'm a Baltimore Raven. But I give credit where credit is due. So if you are a, if you are a Browns fan, like and subscribe to my channel. Because you know I'm not, I'm, I will never be unbiased. I will always break it down and I will give it to you how it is, you know. So, you know, when up, up, when things drop, I'm going to drop. When the games drop, I'm going to drop my opinions on things. It's never going to be unbiased, even though it's on my fans. So, if you're a fan of NFL, you're a fan of you have your favorite NFL team, just, you know, man, subscribe to their channel. Hit the subscribe button because I'm going to give you some vital information from an unbiased standpoint. Hey, great move by the Browns. Great move by the Browns. Is he going to be suspended start of the season? I'm pretty sure he is because I don't think the Browns, I don't think the NFL is going to let him come in back in willy-nilly. I'm thinking he's going to get probably six to, uh, four to six games, maybe six to eight games. Hey, let's wait out the uh, Baltimore Ravens back. That's, that's hopefully we play them before, you know, uh, they get going. But that's, that's great moves, you know, uh, great moves. If you're happy about the moves and you're a Brown fan, kudos to you. Like, uh, you have every right to be happy. If you're upset about it, you have every right to be upset too, but as an organization, the Brown organization, they just got a lot better. A lot better. I'm talking about one of the top teams in the NFL better. Wow. Like and subscribe to my uh to my channel. And like Deshaun Watson in Texas. I'm out.